In the Republic of Ireland, the Constitution deems it illegal for women to access abortion, except when there is a direct and immediate threat to the life of the mother. The Eighth Amendment was inserted into the Irish Constitution after a referendum in 1983. The amendment guarantees to protect equally the life of both the mother and her unborn. The current situation regarding abortion in Ireland is that it's only legal under highly restricted circumstances. Between 1980 and 2018, almost 190,000 women and girls have travelled from Ireland to other countries to access abortion services. The 2014 Protection of Life During Pregnancy Act criminalised abortion by 14 years imprisonment for the woman and her doctor. A new referendum will be held on May 25th asking Irish voters if they wish to repeal or keep the Eighth Amendment. Two polarised camps have spent several weeks competing for votes ahead of the polling day. We took to the streets of Dublin to see for ourselves how both campaigns were coping in the run-up to the referendum. So we're doing a stall to really firm up the yes vote, to talk to as many people as possible, to make sure that um, if they're on the yes side, they're going to go out and vote on the 25th of May, or if they're not convinced that we can answer their questions uh, and any doubts that they have. Recently we had a case of actually someone coming up to the stall and saying abortion is murder, and then we convinced them to vote yes. So this is just uh, part of the impact that we can have on people, and, and this is what we're trying to do here today. Yeah, it's been a really good response. I mean, everyone we, uh, we talk to, the majority uh, would be yes, so extremely positive. They come up and they give us a donation for uh, a badge or a wristband and they grab our leaflets to leaflet their schools or their estates or their colleges. Um, and we just get talking to so many people and it's uh, a bit uh, easier than canvassing because uh, when you're knocking someone's door, like on their turf and you feel a bit defensive, whereas here people come up to us and you get to talk a bit more. Uh, so I think one of the most convincing arguments is that abortion is actually already here, that 10 women a day travel abroad to access abortion in the UK, uh, and that is only the figure that we have for the UK. We don't know what the figure is like for other countries, that five women a day use the abortion pill, uh, that the abortion pill is completely safe, but we should st stop shaming women, stop policing their bodies, uh, and actually recognise that they have the right to choose uh, over their own bodies. I also uh, often describe the law that's already here, because many people don't know that uh, abortion is legal in the case of rape or fatal fetal abnormality uh, or if a woman's health is in danger as opposed to life. So this is very jarring for people. The 14 year prison sentence that we have in law is extremely jarring and often uh, convinces people to vote yes. I am I'm pretty sure that it will be. I mean the response that we're getting is so positive that I just don't see any other way uh, and I think this is something that has really picked up the imaginations of young people. I think young people are very uh, involved in this. They're the ones out canvassing. They're the majority of the ones coming up to uh, to talk to us and find out about how they can get involved. We recently had a case in another stall uh, of uh, a 16 year old girl saying she convinced her entire family to vote yes and this is the impact that young people can have and I really think they're the power behind this and that's why it will be repealed. Uh, I think definitely it's not a uh, coincidence because the Catholic Church has had so much control over over these places and really pushed the role of a woman in, in the family as you know their ideology and now there's a fight back against this due to feminism and due to other women's movements and so uh, these Catholic country the countries that used to be Catholic but now are becoming you know more secular there's a fight back against abortion law there but also in countries like Poland which is becoming more secular but there's a fight back against this secularization and then there's attack on abortion rights in that way and against LGBT rights and things like that uh, so I think the the role of religion is huge in this and it's one of the reasons why it's so difficult for us to win this referendum uh, even if you look at how the Eighth Amendment was brought in initially for a year the Catholic Church campaigned to bring in the Eighth Amendment they had the referendum and they wanted we have been campaigning for five years we had numerous women dead uh, and we have waited five years to win this referendum because of the control of the Catholic Church. Um, I think it's a uh really harmful, really uh, hurtful to a lot of people. I mean, if you look at the Irish Centre Irish Center for Bioethical Reform, they stand outside of hospitals showing their horrific images of what supposedly um, uh, are um, aborted babies, and they're, they're really not. I mean, anyone who studies science uh, knows that they're actually traumatising women who might have had miscarriage in Rotunda, for example, walking out and seeing all of those. So it's absolutely horrific. Um, also, the fact that they continue to use the Down syndrome argument 
argument is horrible given that the uh, main organization for people with Down syndrome has said that they don't wish to be used like that. Uh, there was recently an article in the Irish Times saying that uh, a father saying that his heart breaks for his daughter who might think that the only reason she's alive is because the Eighth Amendment is in place, you know? So um, overall, I just think they're alienating a lot of people, which is helpful to us. Um, and I just think if, if um, um, they're, they're not in tune with the change that has happened in Ireland. Well, I'm here to do two things. One is to pray for the country, because uh, we want the people of the country to vote the way it's best for the country. And the other thing is to, let, uh, to display this sign that I have here, which says, quite simply, no repeal, no killing of unborn babies, vote no. So this is the message we want to get the Irish people, that if they, if they vote no, they will be keeping the right to life of unborn babies in our constitution. And that's what we want, to keep the right to life of our unborn babies in our constitution. It's a very strange day today. There's lots of people here doing very strange things, but um, there's always a little group of people who will, who will say, yes, you're doing well, you know, thumbs up and that. And there's a lot of people who will not like you and say nasty things to you. If you vote yes, what you'll be doing is you'll be taking the right to life of unborn babies out of the constitution and therefore making it really easy for mothers in distress point when they discover they're pregnant and it's not a suitable situation to be in. So they make it easy for them to go and have their babies killed. The yes side, I actually don't pay much attention to the yes side, no. Because I, I, my purpose is to pray, pray first, pray for people, pray for everyone, and then just send this simple message that I have on this, on this sheet. That's the only simple message. No repeal of our age amendment. No killing of unborn babies. Deliberate intention There's a moral element. This is a moral situation. Is it right to kill unborn babies? Yes or no. Is it right to enshrine it in the constitution that you can kill unborn babies? That's the most awful thing. To enshrine in our constitution the killing of unborn babies is just dreadful. And if we vote for that, we'll be responsible for all the babies that will be killed in the future. I think we have a good chance of keeping it in our constitution. I think the Irish people will finally will realise what it's really about and will vote no. I, th I think there's, there's a lot of quiet no people who don't uh, don't say anything to anybody and will go in and vote no. Yes.